wanted to actually strike with him, but then I started thinking, I was like, man, you know, I don't train with people that do that. I was afraid that, you know, what if he catches me? I was like, you know, let's just close the distance and try to keep it. And luckily, though, he kept closing distance, too. We'd usually throw one or two punches, maybe connect, not connect. If really there's nothing happening on the feet, then we go to the clinch. So it was pretty much, like you said, it was just a grappling match the whole time. A little bit of striking on the ground, but both of us were fighting for position. More of him from his guard and me trying to pass a lot of the time. Right, and you seem to control the pace and where the fight took place, too. Yeah, I felt stronger than him. I felt that was a major defining factor, but also, to his credit, he felt a lot more flexible. So he was, like, squirmy, you know what I mean? It was hard for me to do anything, and I didn't want to – I think one of the biggest mistakes is when you – if you go for something and it's not there. I see so many guys doing that, you know, like they'll go for a submission when they didn't have it. And only on the arm bar, I had one arm bar from the guard that I thought I was going to finish him with. I felt a couple pops, but it, he, I could feel him sliding out. So other than that, I really didn't feel I had him in any danger of submissions besides the one we're practicing. I mean, that was my goal getting into this. Is my, like I said, my first five to ten fights, I just want to get experience. So that's what I'm going to do, just go back, you know, train harder, try to improve all my holes in my game, and just keep going ahead, just do what I can do. And last thing, because I know you want to get back, how is it being in the IFL? It's amazing. You know, first class organization, totally organized. They they treat the fighters like the stars, you know, they don't try to they don't use us, they actually, you know, they help us. You know, I mean it's it's such an amazing thing. I mean, it's such a great group of people. I mean what they're doing for the sport I think is just, you know, no other organization has it yet, at least not in America. And hopefully they can set the standard for how an athlete should be treated with mixed martial arts. You know.